What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today in a DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to create YouTube chapters right inside of your editor and not have to do that when you're uploading your video to YouTube. Let's get into it. I absolutely love YouTube chapters. I think it helps out people specifically if they're trying to learn something. Maybe it's an editing tutorial. Maybe it's someone fixing a car, whatever it is that is there to help them out and skip through pieces and find the exact information they want instead of having to skim through the video and possibly just click off. Now I will be the first to admit that I am absolutely terrible with this. I don't do it enough as I should and I'm gonna try to do better this year. That's what I'm gonna teach you guys to do today. Let's jump inside DaVinci resolve and get going. So what we need to do is we need to go to the very beginning. I know I want to create an intro, you know, timestamp at some point. So we'll just do it right at the beginning. I'm going to hit command M on a keyboard and it's going to bring up a marker. Now you can see this is marker six. Normally it would say marker one, not a big deal. That's just because I already have a bunch laid out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the name and I'm just going to put intro, hit enter, and now it's done. Now you can see right here, if I click on it, intro is right here at the top. We can go right over here to this one and we can see that there's a marker and it's set to marker two, but it doesn't actually have, you know, any information on it. So instead of having to delete that marker, we can just double click on it and it will bring it up. Let's just say we put overview. Sure. Then if we move on to this one, you can see that I actually already went on ahead and named this one and it's pros and cons. Then if we went to the next one, we can name it just the same, so on and so forth. And again, you could add as many markers as you want. You could literally just be hovered on top of it. You could hit M, but I personally like to hit command M because it's going to bring this up to where you can actually go ahead and name it. Uh, you could put notes in there if you want to, but for what we're doing, we don't need to. And I'm just going to remove that marker because we don't need it. Before we go any further, let's talk about the sponsor of this video, and that is Artless. I'm going to be honest with you, Artless has been crushing the game. The only problem I've been hearing from people is maybe it's a little out of their price range. Well, Artless has just recently brought out their personal subscription plan for creators. For freelancers, I still recommend the normal Artless subscription plan because you're covered for everything. But for those content creators out there that are covering YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, whatever you're covering, this personal subscription plan has got you covered and it's only coming out at small portion each month compared to a yearly lump sum. I'll have a link in the description below. Check it out and see what Artless is doing for creatives just like you. Now, of course, when you're done with the video, you would go to the deliver tab. And for me, I would just be inside the custom page and I would set everything the way I want it to be. But we're not going to be doing that. We're actually going to be uploading directly to YouTube from DaVinci Resolve. So it actually has a little tab right here that we're going to click YouTube. And in here, you can do the same thing. We're just going to name it test just so we have it. And then you can also do different locations. So you can have a backup being exported at the same time. And then in here, you can either pick the resolution you want. Let's say we want to do 4K, or you could do custom and you can actually make it wider or a different aspect ratio, whatever you're wanting to do. 4K is fine with me. We'll do QuickTime H.264, 24 frames. Sure, that all looks good. Then right here, it says upload directly to YouTube. We're going to click that. Here you would title the video. This is saving it to your computer. So you could actually name this different than you want to name the actual video. We'll just put test one. That way we got it. Description. You could go ahead and fill in your description if you want. It's really small to fill that in. I'm not going to deal with that. I would just do that in YouTube later. Uh, right here is the important thing chapters from markers. We're going to click that. Boom, it's done. If you had different markers selected, different colors, this would be where you'd have them. So if you actually did your video, let's say we go back here to the edit. Let's say we do a marker here. Let's click on that and we could actually change it to pink. Let's say over here, we add another marker. Let's change it to green. And let's say these are just for us to help when we're editing, but we don't want them to actually save as markers. You could go through and you could delete them, or you could just go back to the deliver tab. And in here, you make sure that you only have blue selected. And that will only be the ones that are chapters from markers. I definitely recommend the next thing is make sure it's set to private. I don't ever immediately upload a video when it's live because it's first off going to be terrible quality because it hasn't processed through YouTube. 
It's a whole nother story. Category, you can name it whatever you want, that's fine. The very last thing you need to do is make sure you're signed into YouTube through DaVinci Resolve. It's not going to be set that way unless you've done it before. To get to it, you go to DaVinci Resolve at the top left, you go to preferences, and then you go to internet accounts. And right here, you can sign into YouTube and it would actually set it all up and then it'll just go directly to YouTube. After that, you should be able to hop inside your YouTube studios and it'll have that video there ready to go, markers set up. Again, I recommend making these videos private so you can go in there and you can tweak a few things if need be. But that's it for me today, guys. If you learned something and you like this video, give me a thumbs up, drop a comment below, let me know something else you guys want to learn inside DaVinci Resolve or see something else on this channel. Subscribe if you guys are new here. My name's The Iron Giant. You guys are amazing. I'll see you next time. Peace.